Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures, and welcome to the last month of the year. This episode promises to be full of thrills, excitement, and jump scares. Without wasting much time, let's jump right into it. We start today's episode with a mystery that's unlike anything we have ever showcased on this channel. Take a look. You see it, don't you? That's a plastic bag walking across the street. Even saying the sentence out loud makes it sound weird and doesn't make sense. But that's exactly what we're looking at here. The logical explanation would have been that the wind has something to do with it. That is, the bags being carried by the wind. Looking at it critically, though, we see what looks like legs moving one step after the other. Could this be a coincidence, a function of CGI, or perhaps a paranormal being possessing the plastic bag? We aren't very sure, but everyone in my team is leaning towards possession. What about you? Trail cams have captured quite a number of Bigfoot footage, and recent times have given us a glimpse into the lives of these elusive creatures. The next footage is no different. This trail camera captured three images of a spot in the woods. In the first two, everything seems okay until we take a closer look at the third one. Behind the trees, there appears to be a body standing behind the trees. A huge, furry body. Now, this could be anything at all. A bear, wolf, gorilla, just anything at all. Maybe a shadow even, but the trail cam owner is certain that this is a Bigfoot. What do you guys think? Is this the real deal or just one of those false alarms? In this footage, a group of divers came across this body in the depths of the ocean. While it's nothing new that some people do throw away evidence of their crime in the sea, this body they found, however, was a little bit strange. The body had a mask on, and when the diver went closer to take a look, the person's eyes were wide open. Was he alive? Well, that's hard to say, but if we are to go by logic, I'd say no. Given the way the mask was stuck on his face, it was almost as though it had been glued there. Could this be an elaborate prank by the divers, or are we looking at what could possibly be a crime scene? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Back in June 2023, this strange thing, if I may call it that, was spotted in the skies in Japan. It resembled a peculiar shaped mass of dark material suspended in the sky. Though static, it appeared like a blot on the clouds, despite not being situated within them. Instead, it floated independently in the sky. Some said it was some sort of alien structure, while others thought it looked like nothing they had ever seen. But still, this was an unusual appearance in the sky that has left a lot wondering if it is even safe to be around. So what's your take on this mysterious airborne appearance? Are we witnessing a cosmic art installation or maybe another worldly visitor? For those who do not know what a chupacabra is, it's a mythical creature that is known to drain the blood out of the livestock, and the one who sent in this next footage believes he caught one on tape. Take a look. Given by my description, you'd expect to see a creature on the hunt or one that looks intimidating. But instead, we're met with a creature that's deep into some serious plant sniffing. That's definitely not the behavior you'd expect from a creature known for draining the life out of animals. That leaves us with one question. 
What if we're dealing with a case of mistaken identity? Perhaps a herbivore battling the dreaded mange disease. That can make it look a bit more chupacabra-esque. The sniffing of plants will make sense if it's just a misunderstood vegetarian with a skin condition. What's your take on this strange-looking chupacabra, though? Tell us in the comments section. It's no secret that other entities roam the Earth with us, some disguised to blend in with the human population. But when we retire to beds at night, they seem to shed their camouflage. In this security camera footage, something bizarre happened. A person was seen walking across the street when all of a sudden he started to disappear from the legs upward until he was fully gone. What entity do you think that could be? Is that a ghost, spirit, or perhaps a demon? Who would have thought, right? Monkeys take a dip in the river. Now that's a sight to behold. This fella was seen swimming in a river. Who knew our tree-swinging friends had a secret talent for the backstroke? Turns out a lot of people, and this is actually normal for these species of monkeys. Nature never fails to surprise us, and apparently our primate friends are breaking stereotype and diving into the swimming scene. It's like they've got a whole new set of skills up their furry sleeves. So next time you're by a river, keep an eye out. You might just spot a monkey taking a leisurely swim, proving once again that nature loves to keep us on our toes. We've seen our fair share of bizarre situations on the internet over the years. Some are carefully crafted, while others are very real. The footage we're about to see is one that's definitely gone down in history. In the clip, we see a man holding a peculiar looking creature. The creature has the body of a hen with white and orange looking feathers. Its face, on the other hand, tells a completely different story. It has the face of an ape. When I first saw the footage, I was quick to call it a hoax until I noticed this. As the body of the hen moved, the head still looked intact and real. There's no indication of it being a fake unless, of course, we're talking about CGI. A part of me wants to be excited about this being real, but logic wouldn't allow me. What do you guys think? Can we believe this is real or is this an attempt by someone with good tech skills trying to lead us astray? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. Next, we have another wonder to deliberate on. This strange creature was found by some individuals at the seashore. It's round and puffy, resembling some kind of rodent. But here's where it gets weirder. It's got no head or tail, just a tiny leg and an opening on the side. What in the world could we be looking at? Is it a bizarre marine species, an alien beachcomber, or something else entirely? The lack of a head adds an extra layer of intrigue to the mystery. What's your take on this seaside creature? In Alaska, a wildlife photographer came across a strange creature in the woods while on one of his usual photo escapades. Initially, he'd heard strange noises coming from the woods, so he began looking around with his camera, hoping to find the source. And boy, did he find it. There, among the trees, was a strange creature that did not look anything like the usual forest dweller. This creature was pale and had a hunch on its back. He only saw the back of the creature as it was moving further into the woods. 
My team and I are not entirely sure what we could be dealing with. I would have to say it was a rake, but they're not known to move like that. Skinwalker? Nah, I'm not sure. But what do you think? There have been strange signs in the sky from all around the world that sometimes make me wonder if the world is finally coming to an end, as we have heard a thousand times. In this footage, we see a strange slanted line of bright clouds across the sky. I must say it's a beautiful sight to behold, but at the same time, I can't help but wonder if there is something behind this. This could also just be a beautiful display of nature, but the human tendency to associate extraordinary events with the end of times is as old as time itself. So while the sky continues to paint its masterpieces and leave us in wonder, let's appreciate the beauty without necessarily jumping to apocalyptic conclusions. Now here's a wild ride through the tales of Bigfoot encounters, some chilling, others painting the creature as harmless. In this particular footage, an adventurous ATV rider hits the jackpot getting up close and personal with Bigfoot at the far end of the river, and the creature seemed unbothered by his presence as it just went about its merry way. Perhaps it's used to seeing people, or it didn't think anyone would believe the man. Anyway, speaking of believing him, do you believe this is real? It's always disheartening to hear about animals facing health challenges and chronic wasting disease, or CWD for short and it's a particularly concerning condition for the deer populations. In this footage, a deer is spotted moving around, and it's not possessed but rather suffering from CWD, a neurological disease affecting deer and other cervids. CWD is a prion disease that impacts the brain and nervous system of deer, causing abnormal behavior such as this one, weight loss and eventually death. It's a serious concern for wildlife management as it can have significant impacts on deer. Ah, oh, this poor deer. Glitch, glitch, glitch. If you've been on this channel, then you know how many times we have discussed glitches in the Matrix. But no matter how much footage we post, the list never ends. In this footage, we're introduced to a broken glass. Nothing extraordinary about that, right? But after breaking the glass, they try to put it back together like bits of a puzzle. You'd expect it all to fit together, wouldn't you? But no, it doesn't. When they invert it, which is the wrong way to put it back, then it fits. I mean, this shouldn't be a big deal, but it is. It's like meeting a man who shouldn't be able to stand tall, but he's not able to, yet can stand on his head. I know this illustration is extreme, but how else do you explain this? This is indeed a strange science mystery. Now this next footage is one that I have seen countless times, yet never been able to wrap my head around. It was recorded by a man going through the woods late at night, and I still don't understand why people do that. Anyway, on his way, he sees a strange figure ahead, which appears to be humanoid, but looks the farthest thing from anything human. It puzzled him, and he doesn't move. He points for a while and then moves towards it. When he's close enough, the footage ends, and that's it. Then you start to wonder, what was it? Why did all the footage end? Did he escape with his life? Well, we have the footage, so he probably did. But then again, what did he encounter? These are questions no one has answers to. However, some in the paranormal community who live in the same region as he does state that he encountered a djinn. 
For those unfamiliar with the term, a jinn or a genie is a supernatural being in Islamic mythology capable of shape-shifting and possessing magical powers. They are created from smokeless fire and exist parallel to humans, unseen in their daily lives. In folklore, they are known for granting wishes to those who summon or possess time. But their nature can be unpredictable and potentially malevolent, like the two in Aladdin. So what do you think? Personally, I don't know what to make of it. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you, so please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Speaking of glitches, here's another. This footage was sent in by a man whose tap suddenly stopped flowing. He turned around to take a look and this is what he saw. Yes, you're seeing right, the drops of water are suspended. Bear in mind that the tap is still open and expected to be flowing. You look in the sink and you can see that the tap was flowing before. Is there a scientific explanation for this or is this another glitch? Please share your thoughts. Have you watched the movies where demons or possessed individuals appear to have black eyes? If you have, then perhaps you can relate to this next capture better. If you look closely at the lady in front, you'll notice her eyes are dark. This was taken on a subway, and the man apparently noticed her dark eyes and tried to get some pictures or videos of her. While that might have seemed like a good idea, you can tell that the lady, or whatever she is, can clearly tell she's been filmed. If she's truly demonic like we're suspecting, then clearly this was a bad idea. Do you think she's a demon or that she's possessed? Could there be a more logical explanation? Share your thoughts. Stepping away from the demonic, we move on to the marine world which includes marine spirits and beings. What comes to mind when you see this tale? Me? A shark or something along those lines. According to my assistant Steve, however, that's not how their tales come. He did the research and thought that this had to be some other undocumented species. Being the curious person I am, we did some research and realized it's one of two things, an edited footage meant to deceive those who watch it or a genuine capture of a mermaid. According to those who are experts in all things mermaid, this is the tale of a mermaid. This is a first for us, especially without the upper body. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comment section. Next, we have another glitch that's a tad confusing. Anyone who has used any of these things should know this isn't how they're supposed to work. The man should have gone through freely, but that's not the case. Another one of those bars just appears out of nowhere. It has you wondering, could we be looking at a defective unit or is what we are seeing merely a glitch in the matrix? It's hard for us to definitely say given the limited information we have, but what do you think? Tell us in the comment section. Still on the topic of Bigfoot, let's journey to Minerva, Ohio. Now imagine this scenario. Your kids excitedly run up to you claiming they've spotted Bigfoot roaming your property. Naturally, you dismiss their claims as nothing more than their active imagination, right? That's precisely what the owner of this captivating footage did. That was at least the case until he saw the dark creature lurking around the woods close to his home while working the fields with a neighbor of his. You can imagine the shock and disbelief both men felt. For the one who sent the capture, he realized how much danger he had potentially put himself and his family in by not believing or paying attention to his kids. Suddenly, it all began to make sense. 
the mysterious pile of dead chickens they had discovered, it wasn't the work of coyotes or bobcats, the Bigfoot was responsible. They now had an idea where the eerie howls that had baffled them for so long came from. It had to be the elusive Bigfoot. And here is where things get even more intriguing. Soon after the owner's personal encounter, his trail cam managed to capture the image you see before you. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? Unbelievable evidence that adds another layer of mystery to the existence of the Bigfoot. Wild, huh? Can you guess the identity of these three mysterious flying objects? Well, if your answer was aeroplanes, you might want to think again. We seldom have our aircraft flying in such formations, and they don't glow like these ones did. The person who captured this footage shared it online, and many others shared aircraft moving in similar formations in their locality. Neither knew what it really was, but all were convinced that they had just seen spacecraft. Not ones manufactured by us, but possibly by aliens. What do you think? Do you believe there are aliens among us, or is there a perfectly logical explanation for this phenomenon? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Next, we have footage that's apparently the result of a disturbance in the neighborhood. Residents of the neighborhood were unsettled by the continuous screams of an unidentified man, leaving them perplexed and concerned. If you have heard anyone scream, you know how uncomfortable that can be, which is no surprise that having the man screaming for hours made them call in the sheriff. The footage you are seeing now is apparently from his body cam. Strangely enough, as soon as the sheriff reaches the scene, an airy silence descends upon the area. Being the police officer that he is, he searches the vicinity for anything out of the ordinary as he makes his way down the road. Using his flashlight, he initially finds nothing until he catches sight of a pale and ghostly figure with unnaturally elongated arms. This creature, or whatever it is, was initially sitting, but once exposed to the sheriff's light, it runs away and disappears from sight. Fortunately, though, the sheriff's body cam records the whole thing. Upon reviewing the footage, it becomes apparent that the entity captured is humanoid and likely a cryptid. Analyzing its skin and behavior, paranormal experts have posited that it could potentially be a creature known as the Rake. Looking at the evidence in the footage, you can't blame them, but is the video truly real? A part of me thinks otherwise, but what do you think? Speaking of rare occurrences, take a look at this image. In it, we see a buck carrying a pig pierced on its antlers in the midst of a white field. Upon closer inspection, you'll notice that the object impaled on its antlers resembles a pig, adding to the mystery. Take a closer look and you'll be astonished to see that it indeed resembles a pig. A buck and a pig? How? I mean, why? Could it have been provoked, or is it something it does for sport? Is it even possible? Is there a logical explanation for it? Sure, a bug could cause serious damage to a pig with its antlers, but how to raise the whole pig? I doubt that's even possible, or could there be something we're missing here? Tell us what you think in the comments section. This footage was captured in a Canadian forest by a hiker. It all looked peaceful and serene at first. This serenity is, however, short-lived when something disturbing appears from nowhere. It's a strange, pale, humanoid figure emerging from the underbrush. This creature's movements are eerily reminiscent of a zombie, raising questions about its original nature. Could this be a real-life version of The Walking Dead, or is there another explanation for this unsettling encounter? Share your thoughts with us. The recent surge in cryptid sightings has certainly left us questioning the ordinary in many trail cam captures. 
In this particular image, the setting is a woodland area and our attention is drawn to a peculiar creature perched by a fallen tree, partially concealed by another standing tree. Upon closer inspection, it becomes evident that this creature exhibits primate-like features. Given its size, it's unlikely to be a gorilla, leaving us to consider it might be a chimp or a monkey. As much as we'd want to end things there, it appears to be moving on two feet and not four. Whilst we debated this observation, we saw from the comments under the original post that there are no apes or chimps in the area. That left us with one guess. It has to be a juvenile Bigfoot. It's too small to be a Bigfoot, even though everything points to it being a Bigfoot. Being a juvenile Bigfoot is the only thing that makes sense in this scenario. Or what do you think? Imagine you are going on a midnight hunt, thinking that you've caught a good game, but once you arrive where the kill is, you're not met with the expected prey. Instead, you're faced with a bewildering and monstrous creature. In this photograph, we see a man proudly displaying the result of his hunt, and it's unlike anything you'd expect to find in the wild. This creature looks like a bizarre a hybrid of a hyena and a wolf, two formidable and dangerous animals in their own right. The man wears a satisfied grin as he poses with his catch, but the sheer existence of this creature should raise more questions than the satisfaction he seems to have attained. Take a moment to appreciate the sheer size and peculiarity of this beast, but after taking it all in, there are questions we have to find answers to. What is that creature? Where did it come from? Is it a sick version of an already existing creature we know? Or is this an entirely new creature? Well, we don't have the answers, only questions. Do you? Would you venture into the woods if you suspected Bigfoot was lurking there? Many of you probably answered with a resounding no. However, the owner of this extraordinary footage turning away was simply not an option. However, for the owner of this extraordinary footage, turning away was simply not an option. Allow me to tell you her remarkable story. It was during a turkey hunting expedition when she spotted two unfamiliar figures moving ahead of her. As she focused her gaze, she quickly realized that these beings, although moving like humans, were far from human in appearance. Their bodies were covered in an abundance of hair that surpassed anything a typical human could possess. Even the hairiest individuals wouldn't come close to their level of hairiness. There was a larger, more muscular figure, likely a male, and a relatively smaller one, presumably female. The male seems to have a relatively small being, possibly a baby Bigfoot. Naturally, she was startled and scared, but instead of fleeing the scene, she took out a camera and recorded them. Why do people even do this? What if those beings noticed her? What if she wasn't alone in encountering them? What if they harbored aggressive tendencies and were open to the idea of harming or even devouring her? Fortunately, we need not imagine the outcome of such scenarios as she survived the encounter and we now possess this remarkable footage. But now, let me pose a question to you. What would you have done in that harrowing situation? If you've watched movies or played games, then you're probably familiar with the concept of animals and plants getting mutated due to exposure to nuclear radiation. But does that apply to real life? If you've seen the red trees in the exclusion zone of Chernobyl, then you'll know that it does. But what about animals? While there are some examples I can use, take a look at this creature that looks like a cross between a canine and a wolf. There are rumors that this is an image taken from Chernobyl. It's even been nicknamed the Dogman of Chernobyl. Unlike the Dogman, which is a supernatural creature, this is purely considered the result of heavy radiation. Many think it's a wolf that has been mutated by the radiation in Chernobyl to look like it does. Of course, the government denies that this is real, but what do you think?
Picture this unsettling scenario. You're at home, cozy and comfortable, when out of nowhere a seemingly deranged fox shows up right at your doorstep. At first, you think it's a simple matter of chasing it away, so you make an attempt to do just that, attempting to shut the door to safety. But here's where it gets bizarre. The fox doesn't back down. Now stop imagining and watch this. It's exactly what happened to this homeowner. This furry intruder kept trying to gnaw its way through the door but couldn't succeed. It then proceeds to look through the gap in the door, its eyes filled with an unsettling intensity. It's like something out of a horror story, with this fox seemingly possessed by some otherworldly force. You can't help but wonder, what on earth is wrong with this creature? Is it rabid or is there something more sinister at play? I think it's rabid, but some members of our team think it's possessed. What about you? What do you think? This footage indeed captures a remarkable and rare sight in the world of wildlife, an albino deer. Albino deer are a unique and captivating natural phenomenon characterized by their complete lack of pigmentation. These striking creatures possess a pristine white coat, pink eyes, nose and hooves, setting them apart from their commonly colored counterparts. Albinism in deer is an exceptionally rare occurrence, with only a small fraction of deer exhibiting this genetic trait. Studies suggest that albino deer may appear at a rate of approximately one in every 30,000 deer, making them an extraordinary find for nature enthusiasts and wildlife observers. Encountering an albino deer in the wild is a breathtaking experience, offering a glimpse into the intricate and diverse world of nature. These unique creatures serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity that can be found within our planet's ecosystems, showcasing the beauty of the natural world. Have you ever seen one? Tell us about your experience in the comments section. Still on all things juvenile yet mysterious, this next trail cam photo was sent in by a subscriber who was confused and perplexed by what he'd captured. Here we have a furry creature in the distance standing in a weird position. The picture is very blurry, so it's hard to tell what this could be. I don't know if the creature has its arm up or tail up. If it's the latter, then this could be a fisher, a creature from the weasel family. But if not, then this could likely be some other type of cryptid. We can't seem to be able to say with certainty that it's any creature. Can you? Next is this footage that's a bit of a controversial one. In the clip, we can see a car suddenly take a turn off the main road into an off-road path. As the car progresses through the path, we see two beings clothed in white. Despite the car approaching, the beings remain in the path unmoving and seemingly aware of the vehicle's presence. The car comes to a sudden stop, mere feet away from the beings who still stubbornly refuse to move out of the way. As the driver is contemplating what to do, they suddenly turn around and look at them in an eerie and scary fashion. You don't need to be a psychic to know they bolted out of there. But we can't help but wonder, is this really real? The individuals on the path look more like people in costumes than they do spirits. But what do I know? Perhaps you could share your thoughts. What do you think? Next up, we delve into the mysterious realm of Dewey Lake, Michigan, and its elusive monster. If you haven't yet heard of this creature, don't worry, you're not alone. It's been buried deep in the annals of local lore, dismissed by many as nothing more than an old wife's tale. But what if I told you that there's compelling footage that challenges the prevailing beliefs? Some were quick to label the creature in the footage as an ordinary ape, but upon closer examination, it becomes clear that this is no ape. The way it moves, the peculiar texture of its fur, 
It defies all conventional explanations. However, there's one creature that perfectly matches the description of the monster of Dewey Lake. The elusive Sasquatch is believed to roam the area, hidden away from prying eyes. Until now, no one had ever caught a glimpse of or interacted with this enigmatic being. That is, until this captivating footage emerged. So what are your thoughts? Is this authentic evidence of the monster of Dewey Lake, or could it be an intricately crafted hoax? I invite you to share your theories and opinions in the comments section below. Together, let's unravel the mystery. Next, we have footage of a scout examining an isolated area deep in the night. The scout is suddenly startled by unfamiliar and eerie noises during his usual routine. Instead of running off, he decides to take the chance and look into this mystery. He takes along his camera, hoping to capture something spectacular. With his flashlight illuminating the darkness, he cautiously directs his attention toward the source of the unsettling sounds and, to his surprise, a creature, white in color and with a form unseen anywhere before, is moving through the bushes and trees ahead. You'd think that would be a cue for him to make a tactical retreat, but no, he keeps directing his light source to the same area. Realizing it's been exposed, the creature frantically seeks new hiding spots amidst the bushes and trees. While the creature ultimately evades capture, the ranger does manage to record a glimpse of it on camera, as seen in the footage before you. Although blurred, the creature bears a strong correspondence to the infamous rake. Could this be a rare sighting of the creature, or is this whole thing a hoax? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. The owner of this image believes that he might have captured a ghost of some sort. In the image, which was taken at an abandoned farm, you can see a hazy figure clad in white with its back turned to the camera. This can be as a result of the being moving, but take note of a few details. On the ground, in the snow, there appears to be car tire marks of a vehicle which the uploader states were left hours prior to the photo being taken. Wondering why I'm mentioning that detail. While the ground is clearly soft enough for a vehicle which passed by hours ago to be leaving tracks, but tell me why this man or being, or whatever it is, isn't leaving any footprints in the snow. Several possibilities could explain this phenomena. Some paranormal enthusiasts might interpret this as evidence of a ghostly apparition, which typically doesn't leave physical footprints. Others might suggest that this could be a result of atmospheric conditions or even photographic artifacts. Some others try to be logical and even state that perhaps he's not heavy enough, but I disagree. Ultimately, without further context or investigation, it's challenging to definitely conclude. What do you personally think, though? Pray tell us in the comment section. If you still haven't hit that like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, could you do it now? Thank you very much. It means a lot to us and allows us to create more content like this. Moving on to the next clip. This is one of my most beloved trail cam captures. Not only is the capture unique and different, but it also features one creature that intrigues me the most among all creatures of the night. As much as I would like to tell you its name, I can't, and you know why. We're at the bonus segment of today's episode. Your task is simple. Name the exact species that beautiful animal is and add a rare fact. If you're able to, your name shall be immortalized among the few names of individuals on this channel who have succeeded in doing so. Start with bonus footage so we easily identify it. The most accurate description with the rarest fact will win a feature in our next video. All the best. In the world of the unexplained and eerie, there are moments frozen in time that give us pause for thought. This peculiar image is one of them, a snapshot captured during the depths of the night. In this enigmatic scene, a figure emerges from the darkness surrounding by an aura that defies earthly explanation. 
The most striking feature, or perhaps the lack thereof, is the absence of a head. It walks forward, defying the laws of living, leaving us to question its nature and origin. This spectral form appears almost ethereal, its limbs outstretched in an unsettling pose. It blurs the line between what's real and what's not, leaving us with a sense of ambiguity. What could this headless figure be? Can you tell? We'd really love to know. Still on deer, have you ever seen a number of them gathered around a trail cam before? Well, we haven't, especially with them all gazing at the trail cam as though they were posing for a group photo. I don't know why this worries me so much. Does anyone else find this peculiar, or is it just me? Here's one intriguing thought to consider. Could it be that these deer possess a level of intelligence beyond our expectations? Could it be possible that these deer intentionally conceal their true abilities, keeping their schemes and plans hidden from us? Am I starting to sound paranoid? I feel like I am, but think about it. There's little we know about our world after all. Have you ever experienced that chilling sensation that your life hangs by a thread? Not the fleeting discomfort of closing your eyes in the shower, but something far more sinister and more unnerving. This is precisely what the individual who captured this spine-tingling footage felt when venturing through the dense woods with his faithful dog. Overwhelmed by a deep sense of dread, they came to a sudden halt, scanning their surroundings for any sign of danger. And then, there it was, an ominous presence lurking just behind their pet, two glowing eyes fixated on them. He made it out of the place safely, somehow, but went back during the day to make sure he'd actually seen what he'd seen. Why do people do this? Once again, I don't understand. If you had footage, it was there. Why go back? Either way, he found the creature the second time and confirmed that it was indeed there. It didn't, however, look like anything from our world. From the footage, we can tell it looks otherworldly. Yet we can't seem to make it out from any of the myths and folklore we know. This is where we turn to you. Can you help us unveil the identity of this enigmatic being? Share your insights, theories, and speculations. We'd love to hear it. Think that was peculiar. Still on sick-looking animals, this next image also shows an almost similar creature, but this time I think there might be more to it than simply being a sick coyote. In this intriguing image, we're presented with a creature that bears some resemblance to the infamous Chupacabra, an enigmatic entity often associated with the mysterious killings of livestock. The creature in question possesses long limbs and a pale complexion, which deviates from the typical appearance of a healthy coyote. While we can't definitely conclude that this is a chupacabra, it's worth noting that chupacabra sightings have been reported in that particular region, and the creature on screen fits the description. At least, that's what the individual who sent it in thinks. What about you? Next, we have security cam footage that might have just captured a ghostly experience in Indonesia. Take a look. In the footage, we see a motor rider moving in the night when a strange girl suddenly appeared. Paying attention to the footage, we can see that the rider sees her too and tries to stop. But that's just the thing. Right before he's able to stop, the girl disappears. Being the good human he was, he got off the bike because he was concerned, thinking he'd probably hit her, but he found no one there. He's confused, but from our view, we saw the girl appear and disappear in a thin air. As he looks around for her, this girl suddenly reappeared again, causing the poor man to run off the fear of his precious life. This leaves us with a question. Who is that girl? Why did she appear and disappear? Why do it to this man? So many questions. Still
Still on all things juvenile yet mysterious, this next trail cam photo was sent in by a subscriber who was confused and perplexed by what he'd captured. Here we have a furry creature in the distance standing in a weird position. The picture is very blurry, so it's hard to tell what this could be. I don't know if the creature has its arm up or tail up. If it's the latter, then this could be a fisher, a creature from the weasel family. But if not, then this could likely be some other type of cryptid. We can't seem to be able to say with certainty that it's any creature. Can you? Next, we have another potential scream of a skinwalker which was recorded on a home security system. Listen to it. Did you hear it? What could be happening in the woods? Was that really a skinwalker? If the scream is that loud, does that mean the creature lives nearby? Is the creature trying to lure the homeowners out? So many questions, yet little to no answers. What do you think? Still on Ghosts, take a look at this image that was sent in by a follower of this channel. She claims that this was captured on a trail cam she had set up in a remote area in the woods. She regularly checked the trail cam which captured footage of the local wildlife in the area. But to her surprise, however, her most recent capture had the image you see on your screen. And yes, that's a humanoid staring at the trail cam. Interestingly, while the rest of the image is sharp, the body of the humanoid appears blurry. This made her believe she was looking at a ghost or cryptid of some kind. After reviewing our records of paranormal beings and events, it's hard for us to accept that this is truly paranormal. Personally, a part of me believes that this is fabricated, but perhaps that's just me being skeptical. What do you think about it? What do you see when you look at that? A dinosaur, right? Now, anyone who knows anything about these creatures should know that these things are extinct. Now, if they are, how come this was captured by an explorer in the mountains? No one has been able to provide answers, but the footage was checked out to make sure it was not fake. And guess what? It turns out it's very authentic. Could dinosaurs be living amongst us, or are we simply seeing the results of a secret experiment gone public? You tell us what you think. Stepping away from ancient and reptilian things, let's take a look at this trail cam capture. What do you think this is? Members of the team believe we may be dealing with a demon. Some state that it must be an otherworldly creature, whilst one, and I mean just one person, thinks this is an AI creation. Whatever the case, we're unable to verify. The only thing we know is that whoever posted this online has gone missing and has not been seen since. So what do you think we could be dealing with here? Hunting is a profession that's definitely not for the faint of heart. Not only is it dangerous, but more often than not, they encounter things they can't explain. This clip is one of such encounters, but fortunately for us, the hunter had a camera on him. Now, the hunter recording is hidden in a hunter's blind, which is a setup used by hunters to hide from wild animals. This means that although the creature we are seeing is merely 20 feet from him, the hunter is camouflaged. As you can see, this creature, however, possesses higher intelligence than your average animal, as he spotted the blind and is trying to be careful. It has fur all around, and if you didn't know any better, you'd say it's an ape. But when you look closer, you realize it's not. 
It seems to possess human-like capabilities, yet has the fur of, say, an ape or a bear. It didn't take too long for the paranormal community to declare this as a Bigfoot once the footage was uploaded. Take a look at the footage. I can't help but agree. This is certainly one of the clearest and most up-close footage of Bigfoot that we have ever had on this channel. But is it authentic? Is it real? None can 100% confirm it, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith. What about you? Late night drives often have a tranquil quality to them, with the road ahead illuminated by the guiding light of your headlights. But for one driver, the solitude of the night was shattered by an unsettling sight captured on the dash cam. As the car cruised along the road, passing a series of road signs, something peculiar lay ahead. At first, it was just a strange object in the distance, a mere silhouette against the night. But as the vehicle drew closer, the mysterious figure became more distinct. There, on the side of the road, one could make out the figure of a being, or at least something that appeared to resemble one. It sat on the ground, legs crossed like a meditating monk, with a form that seemed human yet entirely white. A haunting, ghostly apparition seemingly caught in the act of deep contemplation. Is this a mere statue or artwork placed there? Or is there something far more unsettling at play? Share your thoughts. Just picture this scenario. You decide to set up a trail camp deep in the wilderness to capture the wondrous creatures of the wild. Your goal is to see nature's beauty in its purest form. But when you finally retrieve your device, you're in for an unsettling surprise. The motion detection camera did its job all right, but instead of capturing images of the usual animal inhabitants of the forest, it caught the enigmatic figure of a man who remains a complete mystery. This unknown individual donned a peculiar mask, adding a layer of strangeness to his presence. In his hand, he held some sort of container and seemed to be engrossed in gathering things from the ground. These images become even more unsettling when you notice that the man appears to be aware of the camera. In several frames, you can see him looking directly at the lens. This leaves us with more questions than answers. What was his motive for venturing into the woods, and why did he take an interest in your trail cam? Could it be just a curious neighbor playing a prank on the trail cam owner, or is there something ominous behind this peculiar encounter? Share your thoughts. A sighting of an otherworldly-looking creature in the woods is bound to pique anyone's curiosity and raise questions about the mysteries of the natural world. In this instance, the creature sports a striking appearance that's nothing short of alien. I mean, it's barely visible in the bushes, but looking closely, you can see it. Its eyes betray it with an eerie glow that makes it impossible to not spot it. Despite spotting a face and eyes, we still can't see the creature. Does anyone know what this is? Could it be a known wild animal, or is this truly an otherworldly and extraterrestrial encounter? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. In this trail cam image from eastern Kentucky, we're confronted with a rather pitiful sight. In the capture, we see a creature with a head reminiscent of a canid resembling a coyote. However, a closer examination reveals a troubling affliction. The creature appears to be suffering from a severe case of mange, a skin disease caused by microscopic mites. Mange is a distressing condition in which these minuscule parasites burrow into the host's skin, leading to the loss of fur and causing immense discomfort and suffering. Seeing a creature in such a state is truly heartbreaking, and it's impossible not to feel sympathy for this unfortunate animal. Unless, of course, you're its prey and you're happy that it won't be alive much longer. 
That's dark, I know, but the wild is no picnic. It's a hard place. Still on creatures that should not exist, behold the giant moose. The giant moose, also known as the Alaskan moose, can grow as tall as 7 feet at the shoulder, with exceptional cases reaching a staggering height of 10 feet. Yes, you heard correctly, up to 10 feet in height. The individual who captured this footage saw one of the creatures and thought he could bring it down with his bow and arrow. Taking aim, he released the arrow, striking the massive moose. Astonishingly, the creature stood back up, its powerful gaze fixed upon the hunter. In that split second, a rush of adrenaline surged through his veins and his life seemed to flash before their eyes. Fortunately, the colossal beast seemed uninterested, its eyes locked on the hunter for a lingering moment before gracefully retreating into the wilderness. What would you have done if you were the one? Imagine going on a trip and documenting each instant of it, including the various scenery and snow covered, only to discover that this was a creature standing on one of the Alps. Knowing how far you are, you know that this has to be a pretty tall creature for it to be visible. If you take a look at this footage, you see exactly that, but what could that creature at the top of the Alp be? No one can say for sure, which is why the group of friends uploaded it online. Some in the online community who saw it thought it was a yeti, while others thought it was probably a tree and nothing special. To get to the bottom of this, the friends went back up, and guess what? It was no longer there. If it was a tree, it would still be there, and how would a tree survive there anyway? But if it's not there, and it really is a creature, then we have a confirmation of the existence of the yeti. Or what do you think? Have you ever wondered how big or small a dog will look next to a wolf? Well, wonder no more, for we received special footage answering exactly that. A man was exploring the woods with his dog when it started barking hysterically after running off a few meters from him. Not only was it hysterical, but it also started running as though it were being chased by something. The owner, perplexed by his dog's extreme fear, couldn't understand what could scare such a large and experienced woodland companion. It was used to the woods and was much larger than your average dog. After a few seconds, however, he didn't have to wonder anymore. As his dog dashed out of the woods, the owner's gaze followed, revealing a formidable sight a large black timber wolf in hot pursuit. Although his dog is a wolf dog, you can see how small it is next to an actual wolf. One might expect the dog to retreat after the initial encounter, but to the owner's surprise, it courageously returns to chase after the wolf. The owner realizes his dog might just die and goes after it, ending the video. If this video is proof of anything, it's that things don't have to be supernatural to be scary. Are there extinct creatures still roaming our world undetected? This cam footage seems to suggest so. The creature you see looks like a mix of a deer and a fox. It actually does look like the Tasmanian tiger, which is thought to have gone extinct in 1936. How then could this particular one exist? Well, we don't know. If anyone has any info on this creature, do share it in the comments section. Have you come across a mutant deer with two heads? If you answered no, today's your lucky day. Enjoy the footage. As much as I'd love to believe that somewhere there's a Siamese deer or the deer in the footage is one, the facts do not align in that direction. What you see is purely the result of an illusion and nothing more. Had the individual who took the footage moved to a different point, it would have been very apparent. 
but she was equally as confused and perplexed as you, so we're going to let this one slide. For our final footage, we thought we'd sign off with something a tad creepy, especially for you Harry Potter fans. What do you think that is? Some may think ghost, while others some type of demon. But the one who uploaded the footage believes it was a Dementor, and believes that there are Dementors stalking him for no reason. Now anyone who has watched Harry Potter is familiar with the Dementors. We know how these creatures can be, and we also know it's the last creature you want to meet out of the Harry Potter universe. Unless of course you can do the Patronus charm. So what do you think? Is this footage real? If it is, is that a Dementor or simply another case of mistaken identity? Share your thoughts in the comments section. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail camps out there you want us to look at? Please tell us in the comment section, as we'll be reading. You can also send us a mail of strange and unexplainable videos you may have recorded yourself. Just forward them to classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll upload it in our next episode and give you the credit, unless you would prefer to remain anonymous. We look forward to receiving your content. Like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.